Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Cassidy the Hustler. Shout out Mikey T the movie star. We live on Report Car Radio. Show the ball the respect you deserve. Easy. I want to talk to you about releasing your fourth album. Can you tell me about the years, the, the two years between bars and cash? Uh um, well, that was a changing moment in my life because up into the Bars album, I was with a major, um, Sony BMG J Records, had an artist deal with them. And I was signed to a production company, Full Surface, with Swiss Beats. So I had two different deals with the Split Personality album, the I'm a Hustler album, and the Bars album. After the Bars album, I got free from my J Records contract, Scott Free. Not in the red, not owing nothing, just got free. And then I eventually got out of my full surface contract. So now I was out of my J Records contract, out of my full surface contract, got free. So um, I had issues with being signed to a record label. So I didn't want to run back and just go get another record deal. I wanted to test the independent waters. We had enough money and enough fame already. Um, I got Swiss Beats, he the producer, I'm the rapper. What do we need a deal for? We could just make the music, put it out and get to the bag. So that's what I was trying to do at the time. But um, Swiss had a different vision. You know what I'm saying? He was in a different bag and wanted to do something different. So the directions that we was trying to go in at the time was contradicting each other. So, you know what I mean? That's why I went in a different direction. Um, but I didn't want to go get a deal or sign up with nobody else. That's that's not the bag I was trying to go in. But I still wanted to um, do things that people was used to me doing, like when I was with the majors. So I needed an investor. So that's when I started thinking about who do I know that got bags that can invest in these projects. Started reaching out to some sports players that I had relationships with. And eventually, um, I reached out to Carmelo Anthony, and we put together a situation um, as business partners and I put together the paperwork and the contract and he signed off to be my, to invest into my company. So I was still independent. I still own my own production company and I was signed under Larceny Family Entertainment, but Carmelo Anthony and Crossover Entertainment was investors into my move that I was making at that time. And that was with the cash album that was distributed through E1 Entertainment. So, so if we're talking about the Cash album, man, I want to talk about one of the gems from that album, Peace, produced by Boy Wonder. For sure. Man. Can you tell yeah. me how you made that connection with the Toronto-based producer? Um, I had a connection with him first and foremost. Like, we used to work together, uh, like, back in the day. Him... Vinyls is another producer that's down with Boy Wonder that's making a lot of hit records right now. He came up under me. Um, we all was working together from the beginning. Um, when I got out of those contracts that I told you about, when I got independent after the Bars album, those was the dudes that I was working with a lot and the dudes that was around me and we was developing the sound. And um, they just kept going. They developed the sound and went and started working with Drake and a bunch of other people. And you know what I'm saying? I started to get other producers and started to go in different directions. But um, developing the sound and giving them the confidence that they needed to do what they did um, came up, you know what I mean, around me. Boy, Wanda went on to have a lot of success. Currently, he's working with Drake's level uh, label, OVO. Uh, there were a couple other notable features on the album, like Maya, you had Game, Junior Reed, Red Cafe, and ARAB was featured on the album as well. For sure. That's a dope-ass album, man. Everybody that's tuned in, if y'all ain't here yet, y'all need to go check it out. It's on all platforms. It's a crazy project. 